I'm so glad we could all go hiking together. Yes, it's very nice to have all of our school friends here together. Students, stay together, please. We are going to enter some caves. Oh, uh -huh. I love caves. This is so exciting. Students, observe the stalactites and stalagmites. They have been forming over time for thousands of years. Stalactite? Stagmite? Ugh, those sound scary. Are they going to come out and b bite us? <laughs> no, no, sugar. They are. Wow! Look at that bat hanging on the ceiling of the cave. It looks like it's sleeping. Let's get close enough so we can take a picture of it. Come on, guys. The students are going this way. June, you have to see this bat. Huh? Oh! It's very tiny. Maybe it's a baby bat. Sugar, can you shine some light on it? Wow, guys! It looks like it's waking up! Amazing! Look at his tiny ears! Wow. wow! Uh, guys, I think the students have left us. Oh, it's okay. They are right around the corner. Oh, no! They aren't there anymore. Let's go, guys. We don't want to get lost in here. Sugar, you lead the way. Hmm, I don't see anyone around here. Did we go the right way? Maybe they took the other tunnel. Oh no. Guys, I think we're lost. Don't worry. We just need to stick together and use Sugar's light to help us find the entrance to the cave. That's a good idea. Let's go back the way we came. I'll shine my light on the footprints so we can follow them. No, I think we should keep going and try to find the other students. Hmm, I agree. I don't think that's a good idea. We don't know which way they went. And there are so many tunnels in this cave. Well, we'll go one way, and you and Sugar can go another way then. No, it's best to stay together, even though I don't agree. Sugar and I will go with you two. Mm -hmm. Jack! June! Oh, there you are! I'm sorry that we were separated from the group, teacher. Thank you for coming back for us. No, teacher. It was my fault. I was the one who wanted to stop and see the bat. I hope you realize how important it is to stay together and follow instructions. Yes, we're very sorry. Luckily, June told us to stay together once we got lost. I'm very glad you did that. But where's Sugar? Guys, look at these stagmites! Oh, 
took her. Stalactites and stalagmites are rock formations, not bugs. <laughs> hey guys, what are you doing? We're helping Dad build a tree house. Do you want to help us? Would, but after working so hard the whole week, I just like to relax on Sundays. Mmm. Work? Hard? Sugar? Hold this board down here and I will nail it to the tree. Okay, Papa. Watch out, June. Come over here, closer to me. I'm lucky I didn't get stung. We've got to get rid of those bees. Yeah, we can't have a treehouse with bees living in it. Hmm, we'll have to remove the beehive somehow. How can we do that without getting stung? We'll need to call a beekeeper. It's dangerous to try to move the hive ourselves. I guess we'll have to stop working on the treehouse for now. I'm right over the nest. How am I going to get d -d down? The bees are swarming everywhere now. I I'm afraid to m m move. Uh, don't move yet, kids. Uh, uh, let's wait until the bees calm down. I'm scared to go down, Papa. Uh, don't go yet, June. We need to find a way to calm the bees first. I've read that beekeepers use smoke to do it. That's true. But how are we going to get some smoke? Hmm. Sugar! <laughs> what? What? Uh, what's going on? Sugar! There are bees in the tree! And we can't come down until they are calmed down. We need some smoke. Well, I don't think it would be a good idea to start a fire here with so many trees around. No, of course not, silly. Do you have a smoke spell? Oh, yes, I do. I wonder if I can remember it. Hmm. Ah, yes. Fire within, flow without, to smoke and take the beehive out. No, no, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try again. Fire inside, come alive, to smoke away this beehive. Now what? I, I don't think it's working. Sugar, you're too far away. Could you come closer to the bees, please? I don't know. That's scary. What if they sting me? The bees won't come near you because of the smoke. Please, Sugar, be brave. Ah, now it's working. Okay, kids, now it's your turn to be brave. You need to slowly come down from the tree. I'll help you. Uh, I'm scared, Dad. I'll be right here, Joe. We're all doing this together.
Phew! We made it! You kids were very brave. And you too, Sugar. I know. But there's just one little problem. What? I can't remember the spell to stop my ears from smoking. <laughs> I can't wait to meet Emily's baby brother, guys. Me too. I didn't know you liked baby sugar. Well, I always wanted to have a brother or sister. Oh, I'm sorry, sugar. Mm, that's okay. You guys are my family now. Hi, guys. Come in. Baby brother Clark. What a cute baby. Goochie, goochie, goo. Emily, I'm going to go next door to bring a meal to Mrs. Gregor's. She's sick with a fever. It must be because of the cold weather we've been having lately. Can you watch Clark for a few minutes, please? Yes, Mommy. I'll take good care of him. how to hold him properly. Oh, Okay. Ah, it's a bit cold in here. Jack, can you lend me your jacket, please? Uh -huh. Here, June. Oh, look! He likes his toy. Yes, but he needs to eat now. Emily, can I help you feed him? If you like. Uh, no. I'm the only one who knows how to do it. My mom taught me everything there is to know about babies when Clark was born. I remember when Joe was born. One time he... Hey, don't go telling embarrassing stories about me as a baby now. <laughs> Clark, shh. It's okay, little Clark. Shh. We'll help you calm them down, Emily. No, I can do it by myself. Well, his diaper is clean. Maybe he wants more food. Oh, I know. He wants to play. problem is. I remember that Joe used to get cold when he was a baby. Babies are very sensitive to temperature. Oh, I think you're right, June. Look, he's sleeping now. Now I don't mind the cold at all. Look, I've got short sleeves on. <laughs> Emily, it's okay to ask for help. No one expects you to know everything. Yes, but I'm Clark's big sister. I should know everything about babies now. No one knows everything about babies. Yeah, I didn't even know what babies looked like until I came to Earth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I shouldn't have been so prideful. I should have accepted your help. It's, it's okay, okay, Emily. Will you come back and help me the next time my mother lets me take care of Clark? Sure, of course. Wow, I, I see you are doing such a great job with Clark. He's sleeping so peacefully. Why do you go 
guys want to plant so many trees and plants? It's such a hot day. Whew. Wouldn't you rather go swimming? Today is World Environment Day. The day our entire neighborhood comes together to plant the community garden, Sugar. We can go swimming later. Trees help clean the air, give us oxygen and fruit and so many things, Sugar. Yes, and these vegetables we're planting will feed people in need. Hmm, well, I'm going to work as fast as I can so that I can go swimming. Hey, my feet! <laughs> Sugar, you can't take any shortcuts while planting seeds. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out for those birds! Oh, not my seeds again! Sugar, you should keep your seed packet in your hand. Don't let it out of your sight. Oh, that bird won't take the whole packet. Great! Now I have no seeds left. I would give you some of mine, but I have carrot seeds. And you are tomatoes. <laughs> Why don't you get them back? Hmm, yes, I'll do that. them, sugar? Yes! They are in the nest! Ah! Oh! Guys! Can you please help me? <sighs> oh, sugar. That's why you shouldn't take shortcuts. My mom always says, do it right the first time or don't do it at all. I know. I shouldn't have let those seeds out of my sight. What can I do to get them back? Hmm. I know. Why don't we distract the bird by putting lots of seeds on a dish? Yeah. Maybe it will fly down and we can grab the seeds. We'll make sure the dish is extra heavy so it can't pick it up. That's a good idea. Thanks, guys. Wow, that was a lot of work. It would have been a lot less if you hadn't taken a shortcut, Sugar. Yes, you could say that was a long cut. <laughs> well, I finished planting my seeds. I'm going swimming. Me too! Me too! Yes, me too! But Sugar, don't you still have a lot of seeds left to plant? Uh, no, guys. Uh, the bird ate most of the seeds in the packet. 